can never ever find the right words And there's no way this is real life There's no telling you What's up guys? Welcome back to channel. Welcome back to another video and today guys We're working a little bit on the E36 M3. Oh my guys guys So a lot of you guys told me that you guys didn't like how it looked when it was with the white But as soon as the guys were just you know Tiffany and black you guys started to like it I absolutely love this color combination. It's very like popping, but at the same time, it's not like insane crazy looking. It just looks really good. I don't know why something with mint and Tiffany looks really good. I mean, just something about Tiffany and black on an E36 looks so good for me. So I went, I headed out to pick a point. I actually got a lot of parts for this car, and I actually ordered a lot of parts online, which I'm gonna be showing you guys in a little bit. I got everything on a budget. This is pretty much a budget build for me. You guys know I have my 435 outside that I'm dumping a whole bunch of money into. So this is kind of like a budget build, but at the same time, I'm still gonna try to restore, make it look as good as possible. Now, by the way, when I'm talking and I sound a little off, your boy just got Invisalign, which is kind of like braces, but it's, Invisible and uh, it's still my tongue sometimes hits it and it's kind of annoying. It's hard to eat with it It's a process see you guys, you know This is something I've been meaning to do for so long, but I never had the chance to do it So finally I went ahead bit the bullet and went ahead and just did it It's gonna take about a year before I can take them off I know it's super random, but I figured I might as well tell you guys if I, if my words are a little bit slurring It's mainly because of these guys right here. So just bear with me Let's jump inside and start working on the E36 because we got a lot of new parts. I gotta make this car mint. You know, like Tiffany mint the color, you know? I should have opened up the garage door, but there's so many mosquitoes outside. I didn't want to risk it. <laughs> Fine, the car is here in the middle. Let me go ahead and show you guys what I got so far for the E36 M3. So this is what we're sitting on, guys. So the mirrors, I still haven't wrapped them yet. Just take a look at that. That looks like an absolute pain in my booty. So that's that. See so yeah, guys, I think it's gonna be one of the most satisfying videos I'm ever gonna make. Mainly because this car has a lot of minor things that needs to be fixed and all this stuff's gonna fix a lot of minor things. So it just leaves us with a couple major things, but at least it makes you feel that the car is in pretty good shape. For example, the clock on this car, the screen is shot. I'm hoping this one's good. I got it from a pick and pull. It seems to be pretty good condition. Mine's like broken in two parts, so I'm hoping this one is good. I got a whole bunch of uh, pretty much clips for the side skirts because the side skirts, the clips are all broken. I got a couple of screws for the trunk because those are missing. I have the gasket for the antenna because mine's is missing. I got an M badge in black because I think it's gonna be dope. I got some brand new logos. They didn't have any in black, so I went with OEM ones, but I think I might cover the blue up with Tiffany. I think that's gonna be sick. I got some brand new halos. We're gonna black out the headlights, add some halos. I got some trunk shocks because my trunk shots are not even there. And I got this to cover up all the wires that are showing up underneath the passenger side. And of course this, this gasket, this is dangling on the hood. So I don't know if you guys can see, this is slightly, the, the tabs are broken, so I know it's broken. I just feel like if I put that there, it's gonna feel a whole lot more satisfying. We're still missing this piece, but all these wires are dangling because there is nothing to hold it all up. So. We're gonna be hopefully fixing that as well. We have the rear logo, but we got no embed. There's no trunk shocks, and the gasket for this hood is dangling, and we don't have a logo here either. So let's go ahead and start piecing some of this stuff together, and hopefully wrap those mirrors and throw it on the car. It should be a pretty satisfying video. We're gonna be fixing a lot of little things to make this car feel really nice. And then I'm also gonna be going through the entire car with a heat gun because some places ended up peeling up. And this happens, I don't know if you guys can see right here, it's bubbling up, it actually has a huge zit right there. So all this is bubbling up, it's gonna need some heat, it's gonna need to be pushed back down. There's a couple spots actually that the heat needs to be done. So without further ado, let's go ahead and start fixing all these little things. in the front, let's go ahead and add the logo. I, I would, that's gonna make such a huge difference. Dang! <laughs> that looks brand, that looks so good. Guys, a new logo really changes the whole car. Oh my God, that looks so good. You guys, I don't know if you can see this gasket, it's all pretty much torn up. This side's on it, this one's dangling, right here's dangling, right here's dangling, like, it's just dangling, and since it's dangling, it's letting this thing dangle as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and just pull this off and just replace it with this new one. And check that out, guys. The gasket's no longer dangling. This looks so much better. And then I also have all this no longer sagging. It's a little bit sticking out here, but it's fine. At least it's all staying up there. It looks really good. It's just so nice to have. We're also missing this piece right here. So just go ahead and throw this piece on real quick too. Three, two, one. 
Guys, the engine bay is looking so much better. We finally have that piece there. We finally have all this trimming. We go ahead and close the hood. Finally got a brand new logo. We actually fixed the hood latches. The hood latches weren't working when the car, when I got the car, but it looks like it just needs to be adjusted forward. And now they're working. Whenever I pull the lever, they pop up. They work perfectly now. That is so dope. Now that we that we fixed all, we fixed the bumper, heated it all up, fixed that up. You fixed everything in the engine bay for the most part. Threw a logo on there. Let's just keep going. Let's keep going. I'm really curious if, if this guy works here. Let's go ahead and just throw this guy in. So just to show you guys what's going on with the one that's currently in the car, for what, go ahead and put in the key. This thing turns on, and then once I put the flashlight on it, you guys can see it, it works, but the backlight's broken. If I go ahead and remove the light, you guys can see it's no longer working. So just go ahead and just swap this guy out. All you have to do is pretty much, there's like a tab behind here. This is a tab back here. You just go ahead and click up on it, and this whole thing should just come out. It's pretty easy, honestly. Like, no screws necessary. Just like that. All right, guys, this is the one I just picked up. Let's go ahead and plug it in, and hope to God this screen works. Now that it's pushed back in there, come on, come on. Hey, <laughs> that's dope. Is this screen out? This one's working. I don't know if this one's out, but this one's working. Oh my God, this looks so sick, finally. So I got you check all my controls. Look at that, that's so sick. Check control, okay. Ah, damn. Okay, the clock one's out, unfortunately. But hey, at least this one works. We'll go ahead and try to find another one with the clock that works as well, but for now, at least this guy works. That's so sick. Hey, come up. Ah, next thing on the bucket list. I wanna get rid of all these wires. Let's see if we can fix this real quick. Something that's also messed up is this dashboard. It's not really, the gap is just horrendous. I don't know what's going on here. Let me go ahead and figure out what's going on here and just start fixing this stuff and then hopefully get all these wires and this thing should look 10 times better. I'm actually so happy everything fit in properly and I also fixed the dash while I was at it. So the gap is now perfect from the top here to the bottom. So everything is good here. I am so stoked. That was only five bucks from pick and pull. Oh my God, it's really coming together. I really hate wires and this, guys, this dash looks amazing. I can't wait to get a new center console. And if you guys have a center console that's gray, hit me up on Instagram if you guys can hook it up. If you guys have the little coin thing here, hit me up. I'm really trying to restore this car. So that'd be great if you guys have the little coin thing there. And if you guys have this little trim piece here for the M3, that would be amazing. I'm really trying to basically piece this car together. So if you guys have any of these parts, you guys can hook it up with the build, that'd be great. Because I haven't found those parts yet. But we're not done, guys. Let's go ahead and throw in some shocks. This rear trunk slams every time I try to close it. Go ahead and install some brand new shocks. It's so satisfying. Doing all these things to the car kind of make it feel brand new. Oh my God, there's no more wire. It's so sick. See, so yeah, without further ado, let me go ahead and install these two shocks and have this trunk functioning like it was on day one. All right, guys, the camera died, but I just got some shocks in here. And look how, look how strong these shocks are. Like it's like literally brand new or even better. Like look how it just flies up from right here. That is insane. Let's go ahead and take out the key. Close the trunk. Damn, let's go ahead and unlock the trunk. This mechanism is also broken. You guys told me that you're not supposed to always click it in. You're supposed to, be, you're supposed to just be able to push it and it'll open. If I click it right now, it won't unlock. I have to turn the key then it'll unlock. So I do need the mechanism to fix this. I will be picking it up in the near future. But for now, oh, that thing is so strong. I picked up this gasket from a 318i. I don't know if it fits this car, but let's go ahead and just try it. Now the only fly I had, as you guys can see, is right around this little piece. But once I put it in there, it covered it up for the most part. So I'm really happy I got the gasket there. And I'm just gonna get one of those small antennas. I'm not gonna get those massive ones that came with the car. Or I might even just leave it like that, honestly, because I don't even use the radio. I think that looks a whole lot cleaner. Now at least water won't seep through. I got the gasket, we are good to go on that. Small little thing I picked up from Pick and Pull. Oh buddy, let's throw on the M badge. Oh my lord, I got a black one that should be sick. Let's do it, let's do it. So a small little disappointment is that the original one was a lot bigger. Uh, this was pretty puny, but <laughs> it works for now. I'm gonna have to order a bigger one. That's actually super, super small. That's so it's a little weird, but hey, I like the black one. It shows it's an M3. 
I'll rock with it, I'll rock with it. Just for now at least, just for now. So right here, this thing doesn't have any screws on. Let me show you guys what I mean by that. And I also need the tools for this. I'm trying to look for the tools that actually go in here. I don't have any tools, but if you see on it, I can just pull up on it. Like the tabs that hold this in right there is missing. So I went ahead and got the screws for those. So I'm gonna go ahead and put those in. And then also it's missing a few little tabs, one right there and I think this one's just beat. So I'm gonna go ahead and replace that one as well. And then at least this whole trunk assembly should be put together. So let's go ahead and do that. Guys, look at the trunk, fully assembled. Finally, I actually have these guys, they're not even moving. They're actually snug, I got all the clips in there. I got the clips for all the stuff up here, so everything is holding up. I'm just missing something there, I don't really know what goes there, so if you guys can let me know, that'd be great, because I'm really trying to fill it in. And then this whole trunk needs a detail. I got all the clips going here. The two screws here didn't actually fit, I guess the car wasn't the exact same car. <laughs> all right guys, she is coming together. So one more thing I wanted to do today, before we actually get into the halos or anything like that, or the side mirrors, which are the two major things, side mirrors and halos. I do want to just hurry up and put the clips on the fenders at least two in the middle there on each side to make sure the middle is sticking onto the car so let's go ahead and just replace those real quick shouldn't be too hard I just went ahead and put the two right here, so now this doesn't even come open. Now before I call it a night on the mirrors or the halos, anything like that, I don't know if we're gonna be doing that in this video, but I'll probably do it tomorrow anyway. But at least for this video, I do wanna paint this thing here, because even when I put the girls, you're gonna notice this white, and this white is so annoying. So I'm gonna go ahead and just mask around here and just paint this black real quick, so at least it'll dry up overnight and it should be good to go for the girls tomorrow. All right guys, this is just a quick little mask job. I don't have to mask much because I'm just painting in here, but uh, Let's just go ahead and do it real quick. And just like that, we are good to go. All right guys, we fixed a lot of little things from the radio to the wires, so a whole bunch of trim pieces to badges to everything. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm gonna go ahead and catch you guys tomorrow when I actually finish up doing the side mirrors as well, so I don't wanna conclude the video just yet. I do wanna finish up the mirrors, and at least for the most part, it's gonna be complete. So I'll catch you guys tomorrow. All right guys, it is the next day, so let's go ahead and attempt to wrap these guys. I don't know how hard it's gonna be. Let's go ahead and try. So guys, me and my friends actually really wanted to basically paint these in black because we think with the Tiffany that the black is gonna look really good because a lot of Tiffany, we have some black accents here and there. I thought the mirrors will also look good in black. The only issue is I wish I had black wrap because I don't really want to paint these black mainly because I'm trying to keep all the original paint. The paint on this car is in pretty good shape. It just needs to be polished out, buffed out, and the paint is really good shape. The only thing that's wrong with the paint is the front bumper and the rear bumper and the hood. Other than that, the rest of the car is in really good shape. So that's why I didn't even fix little things like that, like the dent right here. It's mainly because it has the original paint. This is an M3 and I'm not really trying to mess with the paint. So I'm gonna go ahead and just try to attempt to wrap these in Tiffany and hopefully they look good. If they don't look good, we'll go ahead and paint them, but I'm gonna give it a shot with Tiffany first. You guys let me know how what you guys think about it. All right guys, so basically sand in the mirror. I'm not gonna be wrapping this, I'm gonna be painting it. Mainly because if you guys put wrap on this and you put it all the way around, it's it's like, it's it's endless. This is one of those mirrors that doesn't really end. The curves are all over the place and it's all connected to where I don't really know how I'm gonna wrap this and if I do, I don't think it's gonna look good. So we're just gonna go ahead and paint it in black and hopefully it comes out great. I'm gonna go ahead and just mask off this stuff, mask off of this and go ahead and paint it all. Luckily we have the new Valtronic box, so we'll go ahead and use that to paint this mirror. All right guys, so basically I'm gonna paint this, I'll put it on a ladder, and then uh, I'm gonna tape the other one over there and do them both at the same time. But uh, this one, I went ahead and just lightly sanded it with 800 grit. Since I'm painting it, I might as well sand it. So I sanded it down with 800 grit, and I can pretty much paint it now. I didn't wanna set it down on a box. I was gonna put it on a box over there, but I put it on a box, and I paint this side. I'm basically gonna have like a line, and I don't wanna have any lines. I want this thing to be as fluid as possible. So I also forgot to mask this. I'm gonna go ahead and mask that real quick, and then uh, pretty much it's gonna be ready for paint. So I think after I paint it, I'm also gonna attempt to polish it. I want this thing to look as good as possible. So just go ahead and try this and see how it goes. All right, guys, this is our current predicament. I just have the predicament. It's actually going pretty well. So I got the mirror pretty much hung up on the cable, the wire. I sanded these down with 800 grit each one. So it still has the original paint, but it's sanded down to where at least the paint will stick on. 
on it. And then I also masked off the side of our uh, little ladder here because I spent 100 bucks on this and I'm not really trying to ruin it. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and use some black plastic paint, go ahead and paint it all. And then I'm also gonna look into how maybe even how to polish it to make it look really good. But let's just go ahead and paint it and hopefully this comes out good. All right, guys, this is a small little update. They're fully painted. They're just drying off. Actually, they look really good. I think because I actually sanded it this time, so it actually looks really good. So we're gonna go ahead and just give it a little bit more time for it to dry. I'll give it maybe like 30 minutes, honestly, to dry it. Then I'll put on some clear coat, and then it should be good to go. I'll just do a, a light little sand and then polish it. So uh, I'm just doing that. Jonathan's taking his time. <laughs> go, go, go. <laughs> now just time for some clear. All right guys, this is a couple days later. I got the all here. Jonathan's actually detailing this right now for his channel, like I said in the last video. So yeah, that's getting done. Guys, I love this car. It's already looking so much, but I cannot wait for the whole thing to be pieced together. Anywho, um, we're gonna finally be working on these mirrors. So I got a lot of coverage on them. Uh, they're fully blacked out right now, but it does need to be sanded and polished. Let me show you guys the imperfections. See so you guys look in there, there's a lot of like overspray. I don't think you can see right there, yeah. So that needs to get sanded down. I mean, for the most part, it actually came out great. I think this one came out a little bit worse. You got some overspray right here, so we have to sand that down, polish it all. So I'm gonna show you guys how I do it. I honestly have never done this before. I usually just paint it, clear it, and leave it like this, but it already came out pretty awesome, to be honest, but I wanna polish it. I think that's gonna be sick, so let's do it. Let's, do it. let's see how it comes out, and you guys can learn from my, uh, my mistake or my, uh, my game. Sanded the whole mirror. I did accidentally mess up right here, a little right there, and a little right here. So I'll touch that all up in the end. Let's just go ahead and polish it and see if there's any difference. Bush it, like buff it out, and see if there's any difference in the mirror. Um, and we'll, we'll we'll know whether we want to do it to the next mirror or not. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and put some glaze on it. I think it'll make it shine more. I don't know, I don't know what I'm doing. I just bought all this stuff and I'm assuming it's for this. Oh yeah, before I put on the glaze, so this is how it looks with just the compound. You guys can see it's a lot glossier after the sand. Um, and yeah, so you can see a little bit of compound still in the cracks, but um, right here where I sanded it heavily, I'm really happy with the results right here. Everywhere else that I didn't sand too heavily, you can kind of see like, you can kind of see that it hasn't been sanded. So I see now why, and on the bottom, it's just pretty rough. So I didn't sand this part at all. So for the next mirror, I'm gonna go ahead and sand it all down pretty well. The edges, guys, do not even sand it. Like The edges is not that noticeable. Don't sand it so you don't get this result. I'm just gonna go ahead and touch that up. It's not a big deal for me, but I'm just gonna go ahead and glaze this whole thing and see how it comes out. So from a distance, you guys can see the gloss. It looks pretty good to be honest. It looks better than the wheels. Um, this car definitely needs a wash. This mirror is finally on the car. And honestly, the imperfections due to the gloss of the mirror, you can't really tell. So this is not that noticeable. So honestly, I'm gonna leave it like that. It still looks really good. I'm, I'm actually pretty happy with it. It's my first thing painting it and then compounding it and glazing it. Obviously, I wish I sanded it a whole lot more. We're gonna go ahead and do that on this on the driver's mirror and see if we can do a better job. Guys, my allergies hit me really bad. And I honestly did worse on the second mirror. This first mirror came out better than that one, but they're both on there. They're both black for now. I'll go ahead and work on that one another day. I don't know what's going on with me, but uh, yeah, you guys can even see my eyes and my nose. It's all bad. Anywho, guys, 
I'm gonna go ahead and conclude this video. Um, I, I'm just gonna head home. I'm feeling I'm not so not feeling the greatest today. It's all good. It's one of those days. But I think we made a lot of progress on the E3673. Pieced together a lot of little things that were imperfect and now they're at least somewhat pretty good. The mirrors, I'll probably actually redo the driver's mirror. It is what it is. You live and you learn. I'm actually was really sick, so I was rushing it. Then I just messed up a lot of times. So I should have just let it be. But I rushed it. That's life. But anywho, guys, I'm gonna see you guys in the next video. The next video is not gonna do with the M3. It's gonna have to do with another car. So if you guys are excited for that, make sure you smash the like button. Without further ado, guys, I love y'all so much. Remember to stay humble. See you guys in the next one. Peace out.